Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you a free prop in Python script if anybody wants it. It is called a Newton's Cradle. You've probably seen one of these before. I didn't know the name until today. But I'm going to raise this up to our desk. And let me turn it around so we can see it a little better. Okay, so now we've got our Newton's Cradle placed here. Now I'm just going to run the Python script, and I'll show you where that is. Let me, oops, minimize that. Sorry, got to go over here to GitHub. This is uh, my repo on uh, GitHub. It's github.com slash data juggler slash Python scripts, and the script that you're going to want is called the Newton's Cradle right there. And that prop, that Python script is specifically for this prop, so I'm going to go ahead and run it. And notice it tells you to add the Newton's Cradle prop before you click the Rotate Spheres button. I'm not sure if Rotate Spheres is really the right name for it, but there it just tells you all the information. Now, I had it set on frame 1 when it started, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you this. It goes ahead and starts. Now, there's one thing that I'm wanting to learn how to do and I'm going to ask somebody on the forum for the Python API if anyone knows. If you can tell what the props are doing right now, they're actually using a, the default transition type and I tried to make it have the transition type of linear and that doesn't work so I'm going to ask for help. Maybe somebody knows how to do it but it's just a uh, free prop so we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and publish it and maybe somebody else will be able to tell me how to fix it, but I'll update it on the marketplace if I ever get this fixed. But for now, it's not that bad. It's just a little bit, uh, you, it kind of like slows down a little bit and it kind of starts off slow. You know, that's just kind of the way the default transition step does. But that's all we're going to show. I just wanted to show you that part. And now I'll, I'll go over to the Python script and just show you a couple of things or if you want to do some modifications. I've got the speed set to 540. That's roughly a little over half a second for each one. You can adjust that you know, faster or slower as you need. Other things, if you want the balls to not go up, you know, raise this number up. Um, this is the, the value for how far the cylinder needs to rotate. So cylinder 1 goes to negative 42 and cylinder 5 goes to positive 42, but you can change that. And here basically all I do is I just do this little loop of while it's the current time is less than the end time of your scene, which I figure out up here. Here it is. It gets the the end time is the frames length dot get value. So I'll go ahead and just show you one last thing. I'll start it over and just uh, load. Let me remove all my animation. And then now I'm going to start on frame 900. So it'll run for a little bit. Let's see. Okay. So here it says current frame 900 and it'll run to 36. So if we start it back at frame 1, it should be still for 900. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, so that part's working. So just I'll get a drink of, while this is uh, running and this will take just a second. I probably could have selected 600 instead of 900, but it's almost done. Okay, so there. And now it starts its little uh, perpetual motion. So that's my free little prop and Python script. It's, you know, I kind of wanted it to be a little more, um, I guess, smoother is what I was, or just more, uh, it seems to start and stop the way it is now, where those things are a little bit more constant. And the other thing I want to do is uh, I tried to, for this little video, I'm going to let it run. I have a one minute video I'm going to show at the end of this. And I tried to add little tap sounds and I gave up after about five tries. I tried to even, I copied this one thing to every every second or so and it's still, I couldn't get the videos. I tried to slow down the video and the audio I made and either, I couldn't get either one of them to sync up. There's probably a way with iClone to actually play a sound when they hit, you know, when I uh, do the animations, but I don't know how to do that yet. I've seen it, but I haven't tried yet, actually. But I'll, I might work on that someday. And I'll go ahead and end this video with this, just one minute. I'll add uh, just one minute of this.
playing. It's nothing real exciting, but I just wanted to show you. And I will update the links in the marketplace right after this video. I know there's a way to go create them in the marketplace without the videos, but I usually just do it all at once. So, all right, well, thanks for watching, and let me know if it's worth the price of free. If not, tell me what I owe you. All right. Happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. If not, happy Sunday.